Hello everyone. Allergy, hypersensitivity, anaphylaxis. What do all these mean? Let us understand about them. See, allergy, certain people are sensitive for allergens. Allergen is an agent which is causing allergy. It could be dust, it could be pollen grains. So when people get exposed to dust or pollen grains, they show some allergic reactions, allergic responses. They come in the form of skin rashes. Certain people has got breathing difficulty also. So this is allergy because they are hypersensitive to certain chemicals. Now after some time slowly the reaction goes down. To treat this antihistamines can be used. Now anaphylaxis, ana means again phylaxis means protection. See anaphylaxis is a potentially life threatening allergic reaction. It is called anaphylaxis. Some people will exhibit anaphylactic reactions. Now what happens is, see the protection in phylaxis means, see human body is protected from organisms with the help of immunity. When immunity aggressive reaction is there, it causes anaphylaxis. What happens is, when someone is exposed with pollen grain or dust molecules, the body sensitization occurs. IgE and immunoglobulin will get sensitized with this pollen grain or dust particle. When the same person is exposed with the same dust or pollen grain for the next time, an immune reaction comes out as aggressively. What happens is the IgE sensitized antibodies will go and activate macrophages and basophils. Macrophages and basophils release certain chemicals like histamine, prostaglandins, leukotrienes. Now what do they do? Histamines cause vasodilation. They also cause bronchoconstriction. They increase mucus secretion. Vasodilation decreases BP and may cause shock. It is known as anaphylactic shock. Increased mucus and bronchoconstriction makes it very difficult to breathe. It is life threatening. So to treat this, epinephrine is given. Epinephrine causes vasoconstriction and bronchodilation. Vasoconstriction increases BP, so shock is avoided. Bronchodilation causes breathing easier. So this is what is about anaphylactic shock. Thank you.